Hey guys, it's Eric. Uh, so today I wanted to tell you guys a story that a lot of you probably already know, but due to the fact that I find it freaking hilarious, I'm going to tell it anyway. So let's begin. So, about five years ago, I decided that I wanted to go on a little survival camp that my church group does, and I chose to be in a group with my two friends who are both named Zach, and one of them's actually in the room with me right now. Yeah, him. Back on track. So, we were pretty freaking stoked to be going on this camp because as kids we never got the kind of freedom that we were about to have, which was go out into the woods and make your own fires and build everything yourself. Yeah. So we had all this freedom and what did we do with it? We squandered it. <laughs> like, we squandered the crap out of this free. It wasn't just like normal squandering. I mean, it was just like, boom, you're, you're done kind of squandering. I mean, in reality, we probably weren't ready for all this freedom because our common sense levels were nowhere what they needed to be, so that opened the door for lots of problems. Here we are as little sixth graders running around in the woods expected to be able to survive and not do anything stupid. Problem? Huge problem. If you guys know how dumb I am now, you can pretty much take that stupidity, multiply it by a factor of around 2000, you'll get a pretty accurate depiction of how stupid I was when I was in 6th grade. So after building our mediocre shelter and haphazardly throwing up our campsite, we had destroyed hours and hours of time, and by this point it was around 3 o'clock in the morning, and we hadn't eaten, so we all decided that we should make something. Well, I had happened to bring a can of beef stew, thinking that for some reason or whatever, it would make me more manly if I were to take this beef stew and just consume it straight out of the can. But Zach was like, oh no, we shouldn't just eat it straight out of the can, we can cook it. What Zach had proceeded to tell me was that he had heard from his dad or somewhere or other that if you dented the side of the beef stew can, you put it on the fire and waited for that dent to pop out, that when the dent popped out, it would be done. So, I believed him. The only problem was that this wasn't a normal can of beef stew. This was an easy open can of beef stew. You can see where this is going. Remember what I said about us being young and stupid? Now, if any of the older guys had been there, they would have been like, No, this is a really bad idea. But since it was just us little 6th graders, we had no idea what we were doing, so we dented it and threw it right into the fire. We sat around the fire for a few minutes and chatted, and I remember specifically looking at the can and thinking, Hmm, that thing looks a little bloated. Did I do anything about it? No. I did nothing. Why? Because I was young, I was stupid, and I didn't realize that the can might possibly explode. Soon after I had that thought, Zach got up and I remember him walking over to the fire and he looked right down over the top of it. So he's looking over this fire and he turns around and takes one step and right as he takes this step there's this just bowel shaking explosion. Like I had thought that somebody had like fired off a shotgun or something. Like it was that loud. And a couple of seconds after that explosion there was this slight pitter patter as if it was rain or something. Like, it was as if this loud noise had been so loud that it had like stirred something up in the heavens and then spit down a little rain like, oh crap! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I peed. But not like a like, peed your pants peed, like, just, just a little like, drizzle down your lid. That was kind of gross. So there's this pitter patter of rain and I'm not entirely sure what's going on. And then something hit me in the head. Can you guess what this thing was? It was the lid to the easy open can of beef stew. And suddenly everything just clicked in my mind and I was like, oh no. And I remember I looked over at the can of beef stew and what had happened was the can had exploded outwards and like there was nothing left in it. The, the rim was bent around. It was just... Then I thought to myself, if that can had exploded a couple seconds earlier, my friend might have been castrated by the can of a beef stew. Like, I can just imagine how this conversation would go down in the future. Oh, wait, how did you become a eunuch? Oh, they were blown off by a can of beef stew? Lovely. And then another thought occurred to me. You see, if that would have been a normal can of beef stew, it probably wouldn't have exploded at the top, but instead out the sides. And if that would have happened, you would have had this burning molten hot, beef stew flying everywhere and if it shot straight out it was right at my leg level and at this point in time 
being in sixth grade and whatnot, I had acquired extremely, extremely small amounts of late hair. And that stuff was completely precious to me because I was made fun of for it. So when I actually finally got it, I was like, oh, this is important. I can't let this go. I know I'm weird. I don't really care what you think. So, however, back to the story. This can of beef stew had exploded, and we really didn't know how to respond. At first, there was lots of laughing, and it was followed soon after by uncontrollable crying, like bawling, because we almost died. At least we thought we almost died, and we probably weren't in any actual danger, but we like to over-dramatize things as children. So, what should you take away from this story? Well, in reality, it's probably not a safe idea to leave a bunch of 6th graders out in the middle of the woods to just kind of fend for themselves. And don't get me wrong, I'm not like bashing on the church group or anything for being immature and like leaving us out there because they'd done it years before and everyone else had been more responsible. They really probably just shouldn't have left us, us three, out there because we're not very intelligent, even till this day. In reality, leaving me, Eric Huckstep, Zach Bowman, and Zach Finch out in the middle of the woods unsupervised is really asking for a similar outcome to leaving a child in a room full of outlets with a pocket knife. Something bad is going to happen. 